I'll allow it. Is she treated differently? Absolutely not. We, Like I said before, we follow the facts and the evidence, the open mind. So in April of 2022, for the first time, you attributed the phrase, this is my fault. I can't believe this happened to my client, correct? That's correct. But nowhere in your official report did you say that? That's correct. correct. And nowhere in your interview with Trooper Proctor the next day did you say that? That's correct. You think that was a pretty important omission on your part? It was an oversight. You never saw or otherwise observed or located a single piece of taillight material, did you? No. You certainly didn't see 45 pieces of broken plastic or taillight material, did you? No. You never located or otherwise observed John O'Keefe's missing shoe? No. Or any other clothing of his? No. Officer Sharaf, did you ever want to look inside the house? No. That missing shoe? No. That never crossed your mind? No. Nope. You think that might have been a smart thing to do at the time? Objection, Your Honor. As evidence revealed itself, dude. As evidence revealed itself, dude. Glass. Absolutely not. Because you made up your mind initially where that glass came from. Objection. You can answer that, sir. No. Did you search the house for any other matching glasses? No, we won't. No. As a matter of fact, you didn't search the house for any physical items, did you? Of course not. Is that because that house belongs to a Boston police officer? No, it's because it requires probable cause, as you know, which we did not have. Or at least you didn't think you had at that time? We knew we didn't have it. Did you seek it from a judge? I'm familiar with what probable cause is. Did you seek a probable, did you seek a probable cause warrant from a judge? No, I did not. Right. You literally said that you hope that Karen Reed, the subject of your investigation, the woman sitting to my left, about seven feet from me, that she would just die. Um, what if any, what if any observations did you make and, and what if any, um, well, let me start just with physical observations. What if any physical observations did you make of Mr. O'Keefe's face and, and body in him? His face, I observed the swelling and the discoloration uh, being produced through the, uh, the blood pooling in the eyelids. So with that particular time frame and the language that you used, um, what sort of information had you gathered to that point and why would you say or use that particular language in your, particularly in your description to the defendant? <laughs> this was, you know, 16, 18 hours later. Uh... Inside the house, did you photograph any part of the house? No. Did you have a cell phone with you? Yes. Has a camera on it? Yes. You could have photographed it, you chose not to. I would have needed permission or a warrant. And you got neither? That's correct. You sought neither? That's correct. Uh, <clears throat> did you photograph any of the individuals in the home for, no. for instance, for injuries or anything like that? No. Uh, uh, there was only one witness he was interviewing. Who was that? Jen McCabe. Jen, is that chick a smoke? Uh, again, 4146 question mark. I respond, EH. Eh. Um, I respond again, not bag, as Chief would say. Um, I also respond with, she's got a leaky balloon knot, uh, leaks poo. Um, and what, if anything, is that in reference to? Again, um, to Ms. Reed's some medical conditions there. Um, you know how those cameras work as far as when they turn on and, and when they turn off? My understanding is that ring surveillance video is triggered to be recorded through motion. So if the camera detects motion, can we continue? If you could, please. Okay. Uh, what, what, if any, conclusions did you come to through uh, the course of your investigation? Um, so on Saturday, Saturday, January 29th, 2022, at approximately 1245. So, so you can look at your report, but you can't read your report. I so read my conclusions based on what, it, what they asked me to do. Okay. The vehicle is traveling at a, accelerate, a higher, higher acceleration when... Again, unprofessional comments I should not have made um, that I'm not proud of. So where's your phone? I do not have that phone anymore. You destroyed that phone, haven't you? No, I threw the phone away. Well, that's destroying the phone, isn't it? I had every right to do that. I didn't ask you about your rights. I asked you what you did. Objection. Sustain. You destroyed the phone by removing the SIM card. Objection. Sustain. Did you do that? Did you pull the SIM card out? Objection. Did you pull the SIM card out of your phone? Your Honor, to the, Your Honor, to the best of my recollection, if, if I did take the SIM card out, I would have, if I was, when I threw it away, if I was going to take it out, I would break it or cut it. But I did not wipe the phone. I did not take anything else off it. But if I was going to throw the phone away, that's why I would go. 
Okay. Again, unprofessional messages I should not have sent. Um, I don't have an explanation other than they're regrettable and uh, something I'm not proud of the language I use. Hey, approach the retrieve Yes. Oh, second. Uh, text communication among your friend group. Um, with reference, I don't anymore. You destroyed that phone, haven't you? No, I threw the phone away. Well, that's destroying the phone, isn't it? After processing, it was stored uh, in the evidence room.